Welcome to After the Threesome. This week in the bedroom, we have Miss Je Imole mm -hmm. Jess. Yes. I don't know all your other names. Uh, <laughs> but I know Imole and Jess. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah, Jessica Ia 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 Yeah, Imole, Dr. Ia Ife. Um, that's the Tantric Queen. Mother Goddess. <laughs> Ia, in, Ia in training. Yeah, mm -hmm. almost. I know you, uh, <laughs> almost, almost. So yeah. after the the next year, will that make you? Yeah, I technically I think so. Yes. yes, yeah. So yeah, in training, right? Or soon to be. Yeah, but next year will be when the training, the real, you know, mm -hmm. you don't start training till you get in. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Okay, so <laughs> welcome. This is your first time in the bedroom. Oh yes. So we are excited to have you. Before we get started, you want to tell the people a little bit about yourself, your background? Yes. Um, so as you said, I have all those many names. Um, most recently, Dr. Ia E. Faye. Um, I am the creator and host of the Pussy Party Podcast. Ooh. Yes. And uh, basically, that's a place where women can feel safe to express their sexual needs and wants, you know, without all the bullshit. Uh, I can cuss, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all cussing a lot. Okay, good, because I'm like, yeah. Yes. But um, also, um, in my life, you know, I am a um, spiritual healer. I'm an herbalist. Um, I am, like I said, a tantra practitioner and uh, a Risha practitioner. I am, uh, gosh, what, what else do I do? Uh, the doctor comes from me initiating into the Order of Doctors uh, aligned with New Orleans Voodoo. So the two-headed conjure doctor is basically to be able to conjure with holistic and medicinal things and then do conjuring and healing and things like that with spirits. Um, I'm an author. I wrote 30 Ways to Start Manifesting. Um, also uh, intuitive and all those things. So, um, and bad as each. Give up, <laughs> that's pretty much it. And I'm Ashe. 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 Well, thank yeah. you so much for joining us for our witch bitch shit episode. Okay. That's a lot. I don't, I don't know what I'll be doing when I be coming up with topics, but never loading. Yeah, <laughs> floating, floating, floating on the couch. being a fairy. But no, yes, that's my people. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yes, definitely. Thank you for joining us. We do want to talk about everything we have. Um, during quarantine for both of us has been a lot of growth in mm -hmm. spirituality and finding out who we are um, in the in our from our roots perspective mm -hmm. not based on like oh I like this I don't like that but for our spiritual awakening deeper right. for me for sure I know for me as well yeah <laughs> cause you hard headed but yeah but <laughs> um, so mm -hmm. no motive. you know <laughs> mine has been a little bit more of an unflowering Mine's yeah. been a tower. He had to peel back the layers. It's pl they plucking yo. <laughs> yeah. So, but beautiful that in our growth. So during this quarantine, we decided we wanted to talk more. I think our listeners are aware that we um, come from a more conscious perspective, mm -hmm. not just freak shit. But um, knowing that behind that freak shit is the spiritual essence that you need to tap into. Mm -hmm. okay. So this episode and others are are going to be gearing more towards creating the life that you want on an alchemistic level. Mm -hmm. My favorite topic. That is but it. before we get started, we have a question for you. Oh, <laughs> y'all need to be back now. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a threesome? I, was, I don't even know why I didn't think to ask it. I was like, I feel like, oh. Yes, I mean, yeah, yeah, but this is my first time and I've been Yeah, we home. have to right. ask the, right? Yes. Okay. I, I have had many threesomes before. I'm pretty, I'm, I can say I'm pretty good at if you need help trying to figure out how to start it, get one, I can coach you. Mm. <laughs> Especially men. Like, this is just, it's simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, men for the most part, um, I think, overthink the threesome. Mm -hmm. I think it generally, I've been asked into several threesomes, but it's usually by the woman. Yeah, mostly foursomes, but yeah. Oh, Same. you jump for three. They right there. Three four, they just play four, but okay. Yeah, it's just never the right energy. Yeah. Like, I don't think that you are the chick I want. Right. I'm um, very picky about pussy, so yeah. I get it. But <laughs> when I was married, you know, we, you know, had a threesome like once a quarter. And then we did have a group at one point. Mm -hmm. And then even after that was over, I was like, I still, you know, am dick dominant. But, you know, I still want to have threesomes every so often. So, mm -hmm. you know. Most of the women we had on our show. Most of the women. Like, basically, basically, almost all of them. 
Not all of them, but most of them. <laughs> yeah. I remember when y'all came on my show and we talked about it, mm -hmm. and I had this research, and more women have had threesomes than men. Yeah. So, that most men. The men uh, act like they was like, mm, a no. whole bunch of them, and they scared, honestly. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and they I think are. there's a lot of pressure to be like, every man wants a threesome. But some men, you know, maybe they be like, I can't handle this one. They be thinking that the other one is going to take their women from them, too. That um, is, so. Let's unpack that before we get into <laughs> oh. before we get into that to the the energies of of the threesomes. Let's talk about the energy of the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> so each week we do an energy like a bedroom okay, reading. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and since we have you here, we definitely want you to join us. Yes. Have yes. this little threesome reading. Look at this. This is the first time. Hey, first of all, I love virginities as well as threesomes. So <laughs> <laughs> I love first times. Yes, so we're going to do this um, energy Ooh. reading, see what um, spirit has to say is going on in your bedroom. Oh, fine. Not oh. your bedroom. Oh, their, their bedroom. bedroom. Oh, <laughs> I was Leave. like, I see the God of Cups. Okay. Oh, no, <laughs> my, oh, too many cards, please. Because um, my, we had one reading and it was like, no sex in my bedroom, said bitch, stop <laughs> Right. Every day. Nice. <laughs> Where are you tripping? <laughs> so, <clears throat> I digress. <laughs> uh, so, what does there have to say about the energy? I'm waiting on y'all. I'm going to get like, my room. Let me take this ring off because it keeps popping up. <laughs> and said y'all need to be manifesting it was supposed yeah, to be some pussy. sex I've been. <laughs> some sex magic happening mm. so that's what the ancestors have to say hmm To the, the pendulum vibe, she likes me and she always answers me. And I, oh, and she yeah. don't, I don't even have to say it. You, right? You some people, it, some it. people, yeah. She likes, but I don't. She I haven't got to she, She's she's very picky about who, but she won't do it for everybody. She's she a like, Virgo. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. She's a Virgo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I ain't gonna tell you. I'm gonna ask and see how she started reacting. <laughs> Pretty uh, pretty much a woman. Are you scared? I need to wait. Okay. No. I'm talking about. How many cards? Okay. <laughs> um, no, this is just energy. So one. We only need one crystal. One crystal reading. Just flip it. Peace. Remain positive. Um, some people are um not relaxed. You're not using your space in your bedroom to be what it is. It's supposed to be a place, a place of peace. Peace, because your ancestors also said to remain positive. So you need to calm down and chill. <laughs> Seemed like the theme for the last couple of days. Um, calm down, chill, relax. Maybe take some time to um, take the time to take care of yourself. For sure, tap into that inner peace is what I feel and hear from these two cards. And you can come in and clarify with the tarot okay. <laughs> whenever you're ready. Okay. Do I need to put it up here? Um, Let's see. We're going to show it. So, Scolocyte is a piece, is a card. Let me get the stone book. Oh. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Would you say most of your um, bedroom is female? Male, we have. I think we have a. I would actually it's say we have a. Half. It's half about a balance, but I think there are more men just because they like threw some. Ooh, what they going? What right. they going for? I would um, love that. So, Scolocyte, 
The spirit of Skola Sai are shining their bright light upon you now, inviting you to float gently into your peaceful place within. It is time to experience a deeper sense of tranquility in your life, open to feel the waves of peace surrounding you now. You are being encouraged to let go of all outside influences, stress, and expectations and allow yourself to just be for a moment. Breathe in the peaceful energy of Skola Sai and breathe out all that no longer serves you, or has been worrying you. Drawing this card today is a reminder that it is time to re-enter your, pre your peaceful place with them. If you have been experiencing stress, turbulence, or conflict, the Divas of Skolasai are here to help share with you that the challenging time is over and peace is upon you. You may like to go for a walk in nature, meditate, or do something that allows you to feel peace in your world. Open, receive, and allow every cell of your body to, every cell of your being the energy of peace to transform your life. Okay. Hmm. Remain positive, be peaceful, let that shit go, and relax. That don't even belong in your bedroom at the end of the day. So if it is coming in, it must be um, you taking in somebody else's energy, you bringing shit home from work. Nine times out of ten, we all go through that, right? But your sacred space is asking for sacred this week <laughs> um okay <laughs> so what i see is that um immaturity mm. like you may be either picking fights or you are doing this like break up to make up type shit or whatever and the person in there it is like some I, the peace card right when i seen that i felt the energy of about to lie for those who are rich and practitioners and then the card that comes out is like somebody that will fight but it's like they gonna fight they gonna fight for you they gonna fight for like they're gonna fight for what's right so not to just say that one person is wrong or one person is right but one person is being more mature than the other person and it's kind of like sexually obviously the dick is great that's why there's this illusion that <laughs> you know when y'all make up and y'all fuck and all these things that oh like we're supposed to be together like it's good and like, whatever whatever but really it's um i almost thought you was taking me down but then i was like no. Okay. <laughs> She's taking me down. <laughs> you know, right. they can make me come. It ain't right. gonna make me stay. Right. You know, but it's like you just you see it from dick color glasses or whatever. Mm. And the thing is, you need to take more control of like what you like, cause at the end of the day, you still not even like to me enjoying the sex. Mm. Like you, you like. You like the fact that you are having sex, but really you can have way more like orgasm or whatever. You know, like, it feel good, but I ain't just, like, come. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what I feel. And it's because psychologically, with all the fighting and all that stuff, and you being petty and things mm. like that, it's fucking up your pussy. Like, that's not, it's like fucking up your soul, your sacral or mm. whatever. And so that's definitely, mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, like, it's time to surrender and put the whatever <laughs> down and do it because this energy of fucking is fertile. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a lot of things manifest with the energy mm -hmm. of anger. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anger. And then when you do buzz one, don't. Mm -hmm. You, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But all in all, <laughs> you you should just focus on, um, like, what protection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, just, I think, just, yeah. I mean, you good, just mm -hmm. focus. Because things are good, not to get out of being mm -hmm. in a bad place, is what I see. Hmm. Yes, it, you know I can just let this nigga go because there's some new shit coming. Oh, Ace of Cups. just let it go because you're not even really that happy, or you know it's not bringing out the best in you. <laughs> you know they feel like they got one over, or they feel like they more mature, or they feel like they know everything. And my mama always said the man should love the woman more than the woman loves the I've man. I've heard that too. So yeah, the ancestors. Act, have you asked your ancestors if they even like him? <laughs> you know, because mm, Aries energy. We're gonna talk off offline. Right. Okay. Feel the <laughs> but yeah, but anyways, yeah, new stuff is coming. New stuff is coming. Just mm, let's way to get over old dick and get on the top of new dick. Get on, get on shit top of new, <laughs> new dick. So y'all relax, relate, release, release right. on the dick. Don't 
let the dick Don't relax. let the dick stress you out. Yes. Ain't gonna stretch you out. Ooh, wee. Mm, I was not that's not what I was expecting. Mm. But thank you for your input. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We gonna uh, we gonna uh talk about that. Now back to behind um, the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes. Love y'all, but y'all don't need to know everything that going in our bedroom. But um yeah, so back into so with all of the gifts and things that you have and using it as a healer, what would you say to some, like, I feel like I'm just reaching maybe like my preteens and spirituality. Mm -hmm. um, how would you guide those people who are still awakening to these, to the different aspects of their spirituality and right. their spiritual truth? Okay, so I would give them to who they are. That's the biggest thing. First, I mean, I will give you to the book because it's basically like, I got some sage. Like, I feel these candles. I feel these herbs. Like, I, I'm gonna like these hoes. I don't really know, but I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. You know, now what? How do I connect any energy? And so the book kind of breaks down things like the days of the week, the planets, um, basic baths, basic cleansing things, basic ways to manifest the common stuff: money, dig, mm -hmm. peace, protection. You know, those kind of things. And it helps you kind of from a, a guiding perspective. It's not really going to, like, go too deep and it doesn't matter what you practice. But let's say you don't have anything. Figure mm -hmm. out who you are. So you are from Mexico. Look up your native place of where you come from. What did they practice? What did they do? And then start on those paths. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew that, of course, my people were from Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, I did it, but my cousin had did one of them little ants, DNA things. Mm -hmm. And they were like, we ain't, you know how people be like, we this, we that. Mm -hmm. We Nigerian. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and mm -hmm. so I know that, that's why, you know, I do practice a Yoruba culture because most of that comes from there. Mm -hmm. And then, now that I do know... Um, there are places that you can go to and people that you can connect to to get past life readings, roots readings, talk to your ancestors, people that are mediums, and things like that. And there's people that look like us, they do it. So it's, mm -hmm. you know, us. And you can understand a little bit more of, like, your foundation. You know, um, I would say no matter what you practice, um, when you go to the ancestors, you know you're in the right place, period. Right, right. You know, so I would do that. But then we have to really dig a little bit deeper because Africa is easy. It's easy to go to the African traditional side of things mm -hmm. or just look at spirituality, astrology, um, the nature from that aspect of us, right? But then we have other things. Like some of y'all is French. Some of y'all yeah. is Dutch. Some of y'all, you know, I have Celtic ancestors. I have... Um, you know, I have ancestors that was of this land, you know, black Indians and all those things. So once you start to really figure out, like, in the beginning it was this, throughout my lineage and my DNA, we went through these places. And once you start to put together those practices, you know, wearing those um, symbols, you know, things, you know, uh, that are indigenous to what you do, you'll just see stuff kind of start to align. So that's kind of what I would say is to start really figuring out who the hell you are. Like, yeah. your mind, your DNA, and then, like, geography-wise, where you came from. One practice that a god brother of mine put out was go talk to three um, family members that are older than you. Mm -hmm. And ask them who in the family that's no longer here mm -hmm. that you remind them of. You know, what so. What about people that were adopted? And well, remind them of I would that. still do that. Because, see, there's a, I talk about nature and nurture, right? Mm -hmm. So nature, that is your bloodline, right? But, uh, yeah, and then nurture is how you were raised and things that happen. So I know people who uh, have a stepdad, but that stepdad's ancestors are watching over mm -hmm. that woman's son. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you're adopted, still the same. You know, because you never know how spirit work, yeah. you know, and, you know, even if, you know, y'all weren't necessarily blood, there still may be a reason why you ended up with the people that you ended up with. You know what I'm saying? So let's say, for example, sometimes people have a lot of miscarriages and things like that. So there's a thing where um, children are actually born to die. Right. Mm -hmm. So then there's reasons why people, you know, can't have their they can't take care of the child or whatever they decide. And then the child gets adopted. You know, it could be, you know, spirits come back as other children mm -hmm. or um, people with that like frequencies come into play in another family's life where, you right. know, things were gone. So I would still ask because you might be surprised. 
and then that makes so that makes a an interesting point so i've been always been in tune with my american history of my mm -hmm. family my grandmother was basically the family historian mm -hmm. so oh, she told good. us like um so she told us basically that our the, uh, all about our history pretty much everything surrounding where we started plantation wise we know tom montgomery mm -hmm. who slept with her great great grand you know different things and built what we know to be now mm -hmm. but when I started to grow, it would be like there would be certain things. So I know that a few, a lot of people in our family struggle with hormonal or fer fertility issues. And I had one cousin who had several miscarriages and only two survived. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have all the men in our family have hemophilia. Mm -hmm. Not all. My mother actually was the is like the one who ended up not being a carrier. Mm -hmm. So my mother got a whole different Australian uh, baby be always carrying stuff though. But yeah. no, I, we found How out from you that. Know, girl, yeah? My grandmother has four. My mother has five. It's five of us. Oh yeah, people over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's five of us. And didn't I tell you that? Yeah. About what? How old oh, y'all yeah. had nine kids? N and and two then of two them? of them. Yeah. Only two of them lived. Mm hmm Girl. So um, my grand. So my with my mother not having any, we were starting to wonder like, well, what happened in our family? Why do? Why are all of our men affected by this disease? And down the line, we found incest. Mm -hmm. and so many other things so now it's like now diving into this um, practice and learning more about who I am in Orisha has got me interested like okay, right so fuck who what cousin right. was Kim folks so let me tell you though what I have an inkling of and in the future I do feel like I'll be able to do readings like this it just mm -hmm. I have to get there but I have a feeling about people's backgrounds like mm -hmm. I told this one over here I was like you come from your daddy's side and she did but you probably come from a royal line. Okay, before we um, go and damn, we was just getting good to the conversation, Phil. <laughs> we gotta, we do have to pay our bills. Pay the bills. And we want to bring you our bedroom jam for the week, which I have been bumping. Um, well, according to the piece, it sounds like some of y'all need a little more calm piece, but <laughs> I want to bump in my bedroom on the way. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> on the way by um, Janae Aiko. Oh yes, yes I was trying to the twenty-two, yes. the twenty-two, whatever it was, twenty eighty-eight. Oh no. yeah, so y'all oh. tune in. We'll be right back. It's new. The one. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Before we went to the break, we were talking about family's background. So you shouldn't read our background right. Right. Now. Well, okay. no, I mean what I. I, I mean, like that. You know, intuitively, what I feel. Right. <laughs> so way back, mm -hmm. you may come from a royalty. Right, and you know, back in the day, it was all about like setting up certain marriages mm -hmm. and things like right. that. Right. You know, the it was polygamous, it was community, it was you know whatever. Mm -hmm. So like maybe it wasn't just like hardcore like the sin of incest how we think about it in mm -hmm. this thing. Maybe it was decisions that was made to keep the families, the bloodline, you know, a, a yeah. financial decision or whatever. Like the practice. Something like that. Y'all got practice out here? No. Oh. <laughs> no, but I'm going to look out. You know, yeah, no, back home, it's, everybody's like, you pro and they all high yellow, dark hair. It's like the, it's like that bright, bright, bright skin. Right. And everybody say, oh, you didn't practice. They only, they say, yeah. Yeah, no, so it may have been something like that. Or, you know, and depending on whatever happened, it could have been some, some like, uh, I don't know what, what do you call it? Hemophilia. What is it? It's a blood disorder. So <laughs> they fall and they start internally bleeding. They can oh, bleed. Wow. Oh, wow. My cousin okay, has it. About that. And they're, my cousin has it bad. Like they're very like fragile. Right. Yeah. So think about it. I try to think off the top of my head which Arisha is over the blood. Is it is it Ogun? Or is it Shango? It <laughs> that would make so much sense. And the thing is, maybe something happened back then where your family angered him. Mm. And so, and then that's a lesson. Like, for me, I can't swim. I'm scared of water. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and my history of my my uh, roots reading, uh, my family, you know, Dar of Oshun, they were, they were all Oshun priestess and did stuff with the water. And they angered Olo Kuhn. They took something out of the water they weren't supposed to and didn't put it back. Mm. And so, you know... Um, and they broke it broke up the family because they argued what to do with this like treasure mm -hmm. that they, you know because we had so much access to the water we got a little arrogant with it and overstepped our boundaries and so thus 
yeah. years later, you know, you have children who, like, I was scared to put my face in the water when I was young. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, so. No, so, y'all had drowning for people. Yeah. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> The best way out is through. Right. So it could be, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. We don't realize that, like, back in the day, we were in Africa. We were in these places. And we were highly connected to the earth. You know what I'm saying? We were very powerful. We were all these things. We was not no, we didn't even know what the word slave meant like that. Right. And then we were not doing right by each other. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, imbalance brings balance. The slavery happened and all these things. I mean, right. and even if you look at Africa and some places, they're still being pilgrimage and pillage so some people that like local me historians and stuff talk about slavery being a blessing mm. i know it's really funny to think about it like that but it plucked a, a certain group of people out of africa and then look at just the opportunity mm -hmm. as an african-american that mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. you know and now 2020 we're starting to all remember connect find right. out who we are and where we were and be um, ethical and love and share with each other now versus like I'm going to sell your people to them mm -hmm. and I'm going to work with the whites and the conquerors because I want to conquer over here and I created the auto war, you created spiritual warfare, you created agriculture healing, you know what I'm saying right. and then now we're in shambles so so what about the people that don't have anybody to talk to like no family members to figure out their uh, um, their roots is I would get an egum reading but what they don't know about that? I mean, like, no, she's telling you now. I mean, not, no, I'm sorry, but I know she's telling me now. <laughs> oh, but like, you know, because some people be scared, like, oh my god, read down what you do, tell me I'm about to die, you know, so stuff right. Like, oh, okay. Okay. Like, right, you probably say you need a bath. That's the most likely. <laughs> but um, I would create an ancestor altar and just create one mm -hmm. for family in general and sit and meditate and talk and listen. I mean, I have family, but my mom was adopted, mm -hmm. and even though she does know her biological family, they, they when I be asking them, they be like, I don't know. I'm right, like, but try harder. Yeah. And as you change, <laughs> you'll get more an answers. And go to different people. Mm -hmm. You and So what All I would tell you is thing, go to the people who you don't have good relationships with in your family and heal those relationships. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Things will come from that. You know, all of it's connected. Don't pay or never not, not have a good relationship with just like, oh, I don't really I talk just, to you yeah, that I much. Just don't talk to you. Know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but there's one person that you should, oh, you're with right now that you need to talk. Oh, I love talking to Because I think you think about the maternal side. Mm -hmm. And oh, something yeah. brought you to this. Oh, to my father. Paternal. Yeah, so let me say. Back home. <laughs> okay, so is that so your paternal father or is it an adopted father? My, oh, I'm not adopted. My mom was adopted. Oh, but this okay. Is, um, my paternal. Right. My father. I mean, my thing is, you know who your mama and daddy is. Yeah, I do. Oh, well, sure. Yeah, I know who they are. Right. Yeah. So, um, I would get a good reading, girl. Go to a medium and have them talk to your, like your ancestors come through for you. Mm -hmm. I didn't right. have an ancestor reading before. My grandfather always shows up on my mom's side, mm -hmm. him and his uh, his mom, and I never met her. Because mm -hmm. you probably like her mom reincarnated or something, you know, it'd be mm -hmm. stuff like that when they come through. But I mean, the biggest thing is like, so I had a young lady who, you know who she is. She had a reading and um, think she couldn't figure out why things just weren't totally aligned um, and wanted to prevent anything further, you know, to happening. But life was good. She got a reading and her ancestor came through and told her that she that they were all midwives and used to birth all the women in the plantation and all this stuff. Mm. And she was like, uh, uh okay, she's a nurse already, right? And then she went and actually talked to a family member and talked to people like, you know, more and yeah. pushed and I like, persisted. And even connected with family that, you know, she was like, uh. Mm -hmm. And found out names, pictures, all the records of birth, of the, all that stuff. And there's literally a picture of her, like, my, her great-great-great-grandmother and, like, the great-great-great-aunt. And it was a black woman and a white woman. They were half-sisters because the slave mm -hmm. owner was their dad. And they used to birth, all, and she's like, and she told me I need to be a midwife, and now I'm like, whatever. And she's crying, you know, because mm -hmm. she know, and she yeah. feel it, you know what I'm saying? And she didn't have that connection to that knowledge or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she wouldn't set an ancestor altar up for nothing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so that is my big urge, ancestor altar. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and, you know, oh, I don't know them, or I don't know my daddy's side of the people. And my, um, he always tell me, you don't know them. But, but they, they know, know you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, no excuse. Go talk to them. Go talk to somebody. 
so with all of those things and the world is big on like manifestation mm -hmm. the whole um the whole law of attraction thing is the the base level of what people think alchemy mm -hmm. is right so from your experience in healing people how do you if they're already exposed to law of attraction how do you help or uh, what would you say to those wanting to enhance that okay so a great question so i feel like there are a lot of programs or methods out there that give you one piece of the game mm -hmm. so um my uh temple is called the sweet love sanctuary and at the sweet love sanctuary i would say that the ministry is based off of the elements right and there's the four elements <coughs> earth air fire water mm -hmm. fifth element being spirit right so law of attraction is the it's only the air element mm -hmm. it is all based upon your thoughts mm -hmm. what you think how you say it putting it out there being mentally healthy and sound to say I'm going to only be on time because it's important to me versus I don't want to be late no more. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's law of attraction. Mm -hmm. So that's great, but it's only giving you one element of the game, which is why it works for some, doesn't work for others, and has all these levels of, like, variance of how, like, impactful it is or not. Mm -hmm. Like, sure, you can, like, I law of attraction to always have a parking spot. You know what I'm saying? That's, like, easy shit, right? Mm -hmm. But then to have a certain level of money or other things is different, Right. So, this is when I want you to get into the, the witchy shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So, uh, I used to test it out. be like, I'm going to see three yellow cars and, and a woman. And used to oh, see them pass by. I like so that So, I used one. to like test it out first before I do something bigger. Baby steps. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, the other elements, I, I guess I give you, at the sanctuary, we do all the elements. So, you would kind of get consulted and figure out where you are in your life but i put it towards the real world thing so like i said the air element of course it's, it's your thoughts or whatever but it's mental health mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. how mentally healthy are you anxiety depression um do you communicate like are you a divine are you intuitive those kind of things so i'll kind of work with you in there and there's all kind of holistic things like if you are anxious or uh, pms stuff like that lives there um, I will give you certain herbs or I will I'll give you certain oils or waters or say eat these foods that deal with this chakra that deal with anxiety mm -hmm. um, or on the other end I'm going to say do 21 baths or batala baths to calm your head and whatever whatever and say these mantras and make this altar and give you a spiritual prescription you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying there so that'll be how we do that for every element but then you go to the um, water element Water is your emotions. So this would be your emotional health. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. um, manic depressive is even over there too. Um, mm -hmm. So you yeah. wouldn't count. So that's, I've never thought about that being, because like, you know they classify them as mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. You don't, I, I wouldn't think that they're emotional. No, I classify all those things as superpowers. Of course. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, as far as, like, Manic depressive. connected to your emotion, like, oh, so yeah. I have a cousin who was diagnosed schizophrenic, and I'm like, that just means, like, you're telling me you can hear and see stuff. And exactly. Like, to me, that's like, you're just that's, more connected to spirit realm than you are here, so they have to try to classify you something. Else. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, basically, it's a chemical imbalance, right? So the human balance is this. In mm -hmm. any extreme on the other way is not human. It's subhuman or superhuman to me mm. and the thing is if you only have it in one place it's going to show a huge imbalance but if you have it in multiple places then you just might look like a genius mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then every movie not every movie but a lot of movies where's the answer that solves the thing that saves the world so people in the mental hospital that have been putting mm. these four things on their heads and communicating with them you know what i'm saying right, right. so that's what to me like them kind of poking fun at telling you like yeah, they crazy, but they not they crazy. They wrong, but they right. Mm -hmm. So the emotional, the the water part, you know, there's a lot of um, programs that help you just heal that, right? Mm -hmm. Therapy is in the water, like regular westernized therapy mm -hmm. is in the water aspect. Um, your relationship with your parents, you know, do you, do you love, respect, and trust your mother and your father? You know, all that stuff is there, and that'll help you balance your water element. 
Then you have your earth. Your earth is financial stability and independence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the earth element. Rich dad, poor dad. Think three. Think, think big and grow rich. That's mm-hmm. all the game in the earth element, mm-hmm. right? And so we'll work on: Do you have your own place? Can you pay all your bills? You know. Really, those are the main things. You have independence. You're not codependent on anyone. Mm-hmm. And that'll strengthen your earth element. And we'll do real things like fix your resume or, you know, put, put stuff together. Um, or we will do manifestations for to Oshun or to um, Jupiter or use the full moon or whatever to manifest money. Mm-hmm. Right? Then you got your fire element. Your fire element is going to be like your... Um, acting classes or your um, studio podcast you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so the fire element is your passions mm-hmm. the action that's your universe so the other three are like of the world you know you got to mm-hmm. have these things to really function in it mm-hmm. and then the fire element that's of course you know makes things happen change um, that's your world mm-hmm. you know what are you doing outside of just working at um, a call center or working at Kroger or whatever whatever what are you doing for yourself? What business, what your gift from God, that's when we try to develop your, you know, you're an intuitive, you, you know, wire worker. Okay, now you have all four of those elements. Are you balanced in them? Because there might be a nigga that's like, I know I'm supposed to be a rapper. I'm the best rapper alive. His mm-hmm. fire element is going fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't talked to, he don't know his dad. He don't, mm-hmm. his mama, he codependent on his mama. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the so the uh, water element is imbalanced. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He think he know everything, and he's low-key depressed. He probably has issues with estrogen because he smoked way too much weed mm-hmm. and drink. da 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 you know what I'm saying? And he ain't got no money. So the earth element is, like, totally missing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you have these people who, like, you know, yeah, they got it over here, but they don't have it over here. Or you got a job. You work every day. You go in, you come out, and you you stable, mm-hmm. but you don't have nothing of your own heart that you're doing. You don't know outside of someone else's dream what it what is you want to do. Mm-hmm. Right? So if you're not balancing all four elements, we help to get you balanced. But in the meantime, we connect to spirit. Mm-hmm. And spirit, and that's where the magic is, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alchemy, you know, is really just understanding the system and working all of the elements, mm-hmm. right? And the magic is when we're imbalancing one and we have to basically shortcut. Because we don't have the earth element, we got to do a shortcut, a cheat code, or mm-hmm. whatever, to boost that energy. That's why you have to use um, trees and herbs and all these things in, a, in excess to get more, to get around getting more, but it will only be sustainable for so long. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the way to really be able to manifest and get things and keep them is to be balancing all four of the elements and then your connection to spirit is 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 there. Mm -hmm. So how do you help those who are... Now, I have come across a lot of people um, in life in general. So my experience in life has always been people coming to me with this with a bunch of questions or at, or or a bunch of information about themselves mm-hmm. or like I just felt like I needed to release this and then you felt comfortable to me mm-hmm. and that happened to me just last night mm-hmm. where a young lady came and said you just felt I felt comfortable with you and I wanted to tell you all of this about me mm-hmm. and showed me just basically ran down her whole life and I'm used to that part but I think growing up my struggle was that I felt so connected to spirit that I didn't feel I felt like all of this was the shit that I couldn't get connected mm-hmm. to. Like, Earth is ghetto, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, real ratchet, I'm struggling with finding a job, connecting with people. Like, I always was Being awkward. grounded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, always awkward. And I think that that had, for me, built a, a, an overconsciousness about myself or just thinking right. too much into right. things. So, when you were young, have you seen people be totally mounted by spirit many, many times? Yeah, in church. Do you know, I bet you even know how to make it happen. Hmm. I bet you know the formula to basically, the what you know, they call the church the Holy Ghost, mm-hmm. for someone to catch it, for, you know, for, for the energy to be mm-hmm. prevalent for someone to catch it. You know, that's not, that's things that, like you say, yeah, in training, mm-hmm. those are probably things that I will learn how to, through ritual, through history, through practice, Mm-hmm conjure spirit to get divine messages 
from God to us here so that we can do what we need to do, mm -hmm. be right, be protected to elevate, right? Mm -hmm. That's big shit. I never thought about it like that. Because right. I just didn't understand why this lady in the grocery store, like, I'm just trying to get tomatoes. You're crying. <laughs> <I know. you're laughs> <probably. laughs> right. Yeah, because you have the energy of that. You are like a key. For, in that sense of mm -hmm. um, knowing how to connect to spirit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes it may not be there. Maybe they ancestors. Like, they need to get this out and maybe there's someone that can help because they not, they're not getting yeah. it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's a lot of the that uh, our ancestors is doing, you know what I'm saying, around us because this time is so heightened. So, like, with you being able to have access to that energy, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, money and things of this earthly plane are just not it's just not um you know how they have the prescription like it's like a not the prescription like on the cereal box it's like 25 percent this mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. like you just don't even have that ingredient really mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then even with the work you do and working with the earth it's kind of like you look at that element and a connection to it in a different way you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. in the regular world yes it may seem imbalanced but in your world you're good mm -hmm. you know and so but at the end of the day we do live here right and so that's why you, sometimes you need people outside of you to kind of help pull you in to have a balance of that but that's to mm -hmm. me why because i'm sure you like like i said you know play this song say songs this and da 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 mm -hmm. and then yeah, and then I know how, I do know how about to four the people going to be <laughs> on the flow, throwing up, releasing all this stuff. And you talking about how they was and meeting with the goddess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely have been, um, and especially like singing and having been able to use that in church. So I know just the praise sound alone, mm -hmm. no, uh, nothing else is, uh, is enough. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I do know, um. I definitely know that. So, um, I think that, well, I'm excited. Y'all already know I'm yeah. excited about all the journeys. <laughs> but I think that it is going to be a beautiful journey for those. And there's a lot of people that I, but I think that it is going to be a beautiful journey for those. And there's a lot of people that I feel like are coming mm -hmm. to me, but I want to be prepared, which is right. my thing. Right. Like, I don't want to just do the shit because you want to do it. And I allow myself, like today, even today, there was a girl who just kept like looking at me. She just kept staring. And it's just like, go tell her that spirit told me this y'all it wasn't like you know whatever <laughs> so i was like go tell her that that's not her responsibility right. and i just go and i was telling her and she was like and she started and then it was like like you kept looking at me the whole time so it's like that's not your responsibility and she's like what you mean i'm like your family your mother whoever else besides that little boy standing beside you is none of your business and you don't owe them anything it's not your responsibility to take care or obligation to take care and she just was like and never said we. I never. She never said a word to me, but she just kept staring the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I'm stop like, doing that. Man. Not stop doing. Stop stopping. Stop stopping. Yeah, because you're like, oh, I whatever, but I I don't really know everything, so I don't really want to do. Like, mm -hmm. just it's time it's to start practicing. Too. Yeah, today was it was like like okay, so that where I said that my clear audience has gotten definitely stronger for mm -hmm. sure. So it's like I can feel it when I get that. It's like a weird feeling. Like I don't like. I don't have like, like my ear being kissed on. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like a weird thing. I know it's like an air blow. <laughs> it's like, it, like, like weird. It's like, like, like and that's how spirit comes. And it's like my whole oh, ear that's is like. That's how yeah, mine is. my I have a ringing and this like pressure kind of change, but I ain't no licking. It's, it's, but it's, it's like, like as if somebody blow. was breathing on your neck. Oh, it gets like hot. Yeah. It's like hot, and then it's like that whole tingling sensation mm -hmm. in that region. So it's like, okay, are you listening now? And then they'll it'll just be like, okay, go. So I did it just because to get the feeling away. Mine would be like shroud, and I'm just like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> It'd be like I'm trying to get the feeling away. So if I don't say it, I'm just gonna keep having right. that. Like, so what I would uh, and see, this is where the goddess bath comes in. But you need to identify who that is. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for me, I know if I hear a certain ringing that Shango is saying something. Mm -hmm. You, you know? hear it in different voices? It, no, it's the alert is mm -hmm. different. You know, and that's why you have to start just saying it so you can prove to yourself, like, I be right. 
I be knowing. I be I'm, feeling. Mm-hmm. I, like, I you know, know what I'm saying? I, I knew what that, I knew Sometimes before. I hear male voice, sometimes I hear female voice. Right, those probably your ancestors. Yeah. If it's different. Because I hear know. somebody be like, ma'am, ma'am. Like, Who was calling me ma'am? But I'd be like, nah, no. <laughs> Maybe it's a child. It, be, it doesn't sound like a child. I mean, when I was like, I think 16, I got pregnant and I lost that child. And I did see him. Girl, me too. It was, it was a little boy. I already knew. Mm-hmm. And, um, know they grown. Let me tell you. The yeah. experience is grown. That's our ancestors coming back. So I know mine runs around and steals things and messes with things. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a little pissed yeah. off that it I helps. did what I did. But yeah. at the same time, it understands, <laughs> you know, that it, it's, it's, it's coming. He's coming back. So it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. He's coming back with his brother. And I got to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So, Set up an altar. Girl. I, oh, for you. So I was yes. just about to say that. So not a one put it on your ancestors. On the same, altar. okay. So the same I was just about to ask that. Like, how do you address those? Because I, I mean, the I had a miscarriage this year. So, um, in the goddess baths that I do, well, you're fine because you already did it, <laughs> but um, you can have a spiritual birth. You know, we can spiritually mm-hmm. yeah. as the baby. You need to name it. You need all those things. Mm-hmm. Um, for each child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, name it. And also, too, you can do nine day elevation ceremony. So basically, you create a little altar for it and you light a You can either do a tea light or just a candle, and every day you elevate it. So you just put the candle on something like this. Mm-hmm. Then the next oh, then the next day, you put it here. Then you add, you know, and for nine days, because it's an Oya mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm. Um, you elevate it and, and talk to that spirit and tell it to go to heaven. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mine, I'm doing that, but mine is not. He, he already has said that he's he is coming back. So I'm trying to just yeah, go um, to the baby store and get a rattle and get some toys and, and put on the altar. He needs some flowers. Yeah. Because I remember somebody Spoiling was telling me now. that sometimes um, baby spirits can come to you and tell you that they want to be born. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I've been having like a little girl come to me <laughs> lately. Mm-hmm. You having but, sex? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, I'm just, not. okay, I mean, well, you know. No. Watch it for the window. I mean, I, you know. I know. I, I'm only yeah. with the moon. Especially I know because exactly. you really want to be a mom, too. So yeah. it's like your inner desire yeah. mixed with the ancestors, mixed with any lackadaisicalness on your part. Mm-hmm. So, how do we? Um, so, a lot of this may, a lot of our listeners probably are with the shit, so they kind of understand. Yeah. <laughs> but there are a lot of n- new people who are coming and trying to break the old, like I have. Right friends who are watching me grow through this experience and like it's so beautiful I want to know more but they can't break the mental cycle of growing up Christian Mm -hmm. or growing up in an environment that doesn't accept it or living in an environment that judges where their spirit is wanting to take them right so what to do Mm -hmm. um besides just not give a fuck it's it's, Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be this big thing but it's a choice you know, mm-hmm. you just got to make a choice. And then I guess maybe the way to help you make that choice is to look at it from a historical and academia aspect mm-hmm. and figure out what voodoo really is. Mm-hmm. That voodoo is Catholicism, which is being a Catholic, mm-hmm. African ancestry and traditions. Mm-hmm. And um, and uh, what's the third one? African ancestry and like just indigenous practices. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, working with spirit. And, you know, knowing that hoodoo is basically, what church you said you went to? Non-denominational. Non-denominational. Right. So the, the churches back in the day when they were catching spirit and hooping, hollering and doing testifying to people throwing up, mm-hmm. all of that, that's hoodoo. Mm-hmm. Like, you, if you go back and ask your grandmama, oh, um, the pastor would tell people to go get dirt from someone's house. Tanisha's the one who taught mm-hmm. me this. To go get dirt from someone's house who owns a house and put it in your Bible or do some, something so that you can now own a house. Like, mm-hmm. That's Matt, that's alchemy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's hoodoo. And that hoodoo practitioners can't do no work without the Bible. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The so that you can right. and all of that. And what I'm learning as I'm going more and more in it, because with Orisha Ifa, when I joined my chief, she is a devout Catholic. She's a Oshun Shango chief. And she would teach about stories of the Orishas <coughs> and show where they are in the Bible or show break down the Bible 
the Orisha because the the Bible is a child of Orisha and Ifa practice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not separate from. So even when you want to be free and you're ready to break the chains of masturbating is a sin and all that bullshit, mm -hmm. you're going to need to check yourself because once you go out, you're going to go right back, back in, in and realize that it's that you are in that place for a reason because your ancestry still is connected to Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and all those things. Now, do you know the truth about who Jesus really is? You know, Yeshua, blah, 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 blah. And that, you know, the Holy Trinity or whatever had women in it, things like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I have a thing with the lights. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but yeah, so like, once you really realize that you're not gonna leave it, mm -hmm. that you knowing, or uh, like for me, uh, what's I, I'm not, I'm a heathen. I never really was in the church like that. But my grandmother, <laughs> as I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, <laughs> da, 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 mm -hmm. I realized I know that, and I realized I that was important because sometimes I have to do that to go and mm -hmm. get people and bring them out mm -hmm. to heal them. You know, people, mm -hmm. the, especially a lot of um, warriors. You know, mm -hmm. so and yeah. that was crazy the other night with Kaylani. She pulled out the first, like her pulling up Roman. That was the first scripture I learned. Right, and, and the thing was, is, those are spells. Those are uh -huh. prescriptions. Those are stories that we can learn from. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They tell you right there, hide it in plain sight. They just tell you not to do it. So I'm gonna tell you a story, and I think we have to wrap for something mm -hmm. in a second. So I went to All Saints Day mm -hmm. with my family at mm -hmm. Mount Vernon Missionary Baptist Church. Right. All Saints Day honors everyone that passed that year. And my mm -hmm. grandfather had passed. I w it happened to be first Sunday, too, which is communion, mm -hmm. right? I know the basics now. Right. And um, I'm looking at the altar. I'm looking at the priest up there. I'm looking at the cup of wine. I'm looking at the bread. I'm looking at the two candles. I'm looking at the incense burning. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at all the women in white sitting in the front. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the young boys that are children that light the candles. Mm -hmm. Issue. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at the pageantry of it. We all got to say one hymn. Mm -hmm. We all got to sing these songs. Clap it. Okay, so I'm like, this ain't nothing but voodoo. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? This is not, this is the same. It's just in the church, only one or a select few of people get to do That's it. it. They right. get to control where the energy is going, what what's going to be manifested. And you just have to hope and pray that the person at the front is doing it for the best of everybody mm -hmm. and not just for themselves or for a select group of people. Because mm -hmm. when they cast the spirit of abundance to you, I know people that do evangelistic work that shop at Midtown Mojo. Mm. <laughs> and they get those herbs and those oils and they put that in their Bible. And they put it on the on the prayer, mm -hmm. and they I'm casting it because you heard them say mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, I saw that, and I realized somebody just is controlling the narrative. Maybe at one point they were like, "We understand that people are not going to abide by the laws of nature. Mm -hmm. So if you get something, you got to give, or there'll be an imbalance." Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and so we're going to control it. And then once they decided to control it to keep things from being crazy spiritually, they manipulated it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's happening. And so now um, people are waking up. I, actually, that's a lie. We're not waking up. We are remembering. Because remembering. we always knew. You know, mm -hmm. it was a reason why I had little spell books when I was little. My mama would buy them. <laughs> like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so um, now that we're remembering, we have the autonomy, or I call it the ashe, mm -hmm. to create change and make things happen. But for me, ashe means also with the ability to self-govern yourself. Mm -hmm. right to the highest character that is good for you mm -hmm. and so that's what's happening right now is that everybody is their own church mm -hmm. but church don't like that because who you gonna tie to that's my right mama, mama, so. right to spirit mm -hmm. you're gonna do the offerings you're gonna do everything yourself right and then if you don't need them or we, but the thing is we still do need each other because right. what you do is not exactly what i do now we do have some a few similar gifts mm -hmm. but still in different ways and mm -hmm. still maybe from different places mm -hmm. different you know ogun people oshun people shango people whatever mm -hmm. you know not even that celtic or native indian or what have you and mm -hmm. i'm pointing at you but <laughs> <laughs> you know she thinks you you my yeah oh to the water <laughs> right but the thing is all three yeah, female all, orishas are the water are so the it's water. hard mm -hmm. but then you need to get a head reading to yeah. figure out yeah she told what orisha <laughs> but go to anybody and ask them what spirits walk with me start there that would be mm -hmm. the other thing besides your ancestors figure out who your spirit guides are mm -hmm. this has definitely been a 
very informational. We got all into the witchy, into the blessed, right. to the, the witchy alchemist. <laughs> I don't really care. I feel like they need to know this side. Like yeah, I think people think about it one. You know, <laughs> we could <laughs> we get a lot of it in one witchy. way, right? Have you on the show again? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. We'll definitely do. Um, right. A panel of witches, I yeah. think. Oh, yeah. But um, don't give Starbucks your money. Sorry. Shun <laughs> <laughs> is very adamant about that. I don't go to Starbucks. I don't spice latte caffeine. is a spell that white people use for wealthy, wealthy prosperity, mm. which is the Ocean Bank. Yeah, I was like, the bank. Yes. I remember. So holla at them. They can give you the prescription to do your own pumpkin spice latte spell if you want to get on that monster. <laughs> Before we go, um, can you tell everybody where to find you, where they can purchase your book, if they want to get into contact? Right. So uh, the best way is on Instagram at Pussy Party Podcast, and that's spelled P W U S S Y Party. I never even thought. Now I'm all over here in this class. Like class. Pussy. Exactly. Pussy. 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 And it's because they censor the word pussy, so you uh-huh. can't have the regular spelling. Right. Um, so you can hit me up there if you click the link in my bio. It has like. All of the, if you want a reading, if you want to buy the book, if you want to, you know, all those, uh, every way to listen to the podcast and stuff like that. Um, that's probably the best way. Or you could go to www.thepussypartypodcast.com and that's spelled regular. Um, or uh, what else? Oh, and you can follow like more of the spiritual side at the Sweet Love Sanctuary. It's at Sweet Love Sanctuary. No Z. I don't know that. Yeah, so that is private and it has a little bit more like, I don't really post certain ceremonies or workings and things like that there, but I do on the sanctuary page and events and, you know, you want to get down on the full moon, you know, holler at me and we may, you know, create a space for you to make that happen. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank, you. thank you to Liz. I see you in the background. I want to yes. give you a shout out to me. My own Got it over there. Um, as always, we appreciate you guys joining us in the bedroom. I am Cleo. And I'm Rillo. As always, you can find us on Instagram at after the number three S O M E underscore podcast. And on our personal pages, highly intuitive and Cleo's underscore skull soul underscore shop for all your crystal drip and Rillo.dime. Until next time, beautiful people. Peace.